All right, we're um, got another mushroom growing on our property, um, and I was going to uh, show the um, spore print on this, and as you can see, it's uh, white, and I uh, did too. It's also white. And that is for the mushrooms. These are shaggy paracels. And uh, we have a shaggy paracel, which is edible, but we also have on our property a, uh, um, a look-alike of the shaggy paracel that is, uh, that is described as a puker, um, which doesn't sound very appealing. And uh, spore print... Uh, white means it's the shaggy paracel, and again, you can see this, I did it with both of these. Um, if you've never done a spore print, it's fairly easy. Um, all you do is put your, uh, mushroom on, uh, depending on what color you expect. Um, we do it on white if we're expecting a darker print. We do it on yellow, I mean on, uh, on black if we're expecting a white. Um, my wife threw away my sheet that I had done some other stuff on the other day and uh, so basically you just set your mushroom down big chunk and uh, put a put a glass over it helps hold the moisture in there and the uh, the spore it'll drop the spore print if I did this now in about 20 minutes 30 minutes it would have a, another we'd have another spore print there um, and the spores are the seeds so uh, anyway this is uh, this is looking at our shaggy, uh, our shaggy parasol, and you can kind of see why they would call it a shaggy parasol. It looks kind of like, you know, something's, you can see the, so I can get my finger in there without killing myself. There we go. Um, you, you can see the kind of shaggy appearance and rough appearance to it. Um, they also have a, uh, they also have what is often described as a nipple, and I Imagine you can figure out why they call that um, with a shaggy parasol. Uh, this one also has it. Um, so it's a nice little mushroom. We actually ate some of these last night, and I didn't do a spore print on them. Um, and uh, it's got a good flavor. It's got a really good flavor. So uh, they stain they stain orange when you uh, when you crush them or uh, cut them. And as you can see, these were cut earlier, and uh, it was hard to do with the, as you can see, they stained red uh, over time. And uh, some of the ones we were working with last night stained almost, started staining almost immediately. And these this morning um, took their time staining. So uh, anyway, this will be added to some of the other stuff we're doing with these, and uh Next time, hopefully, it'll be just regular construction paper <laughs> instead of a, a torn up package from uh, the post office. All right, these are the uh, some more of the shaggy paracels that were picked. And uh, like I said, we had a very few last night. We're going to be eating uh, more today, obviously, and got a bunch out there I'll show later. Um, we have red staining almost immediately um, cutting the, uh, the stalks. That's that one's that one's red. That one's staining reddish. Um, it's working its way there. Yeah, they stain orange to red. Gets redder over time. Um, but anyway, we got a nice little batch, and as you can see, they're kind of meaty. Um, very tasty too. See, they're all turning. Yep. So uh, some of these, like this one was picked. You can see he's turning orange, and uh, this one here where he's damaged is is uh, turning an orange red so uh, anyway we got some of these outside also we'll be taking some videos of um, and uh, we uh, we uh, we got quite a few of them out there and so far I don't see any of the pukers like I've been like we've mostly had lately so maybe maybe season maybe seasonality maybe there these are more of a fall which some of what I've read suggests and uh, the pukers may have more of a tendency to be a spring mushroom. So, anyway, I'll yeah. let this go. Whoop. What are we doing? I was just going to say, yeah, these are different. They're just now starting to come up. Yeah. All right. I'll be turning this off for now. We'll add some more stuff to it in a little while. Um, so, all right. These are the mushrooms that we're cooking. And uh, these are the... Uh, 
um, shaggy. shaggy shaggy parasol parasol um, and my wife's doing a little more complex than normal a lot of times it's just water and butter garlic. and uh, a little garlic this is what I get in there an onion and a basil and some garlic onion garlic and basil did you boil I cooked it with the water a little bit. A little water, okay, so just water. And then I'm just okay. making cook that. Uh, saute the onion and garlic and uh, basil yeah. first. The green, the green things that aren't part of the pot are uh, ooh, steaming up. <laughs> that's that's the uh, scallions. We use uh, scallions a lot. So, uh, all right, and we'll probably show some out in the yard and maybe show some being picked in a, in a little while. They're looking nice out in the yard. And the ones in the yard are looking real good. So. All right, you gonna try it? I already is... tried it. I'm just gonna eat another one. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I guess they're pretty good. All right, that'll be part of dinner tonight. So, and we got quite a few more in the yard, and we're gonna keep some and put them out, uh, put them out in other places of the yard, um, including the places where the uh, the pukers kept growing. Hopefully, these will overtake the pukers. So, all right. I'm going to let you go now. All right, we are taking a video of our shaggy parasols. Um, they are nice looking Galloway dog. Dogs think anything I'm doing, they got I got to come pet them. They got to come get right in my way. Got a whole bunch of them right here. And uh, we've also got another group of them down here. And... We are placing these out so that they will grow on various parts of our property. And i uh, got another batch down below. All right. And these are uh, some more of the shaggy parasols. And we've got a bunch growing right here. This is on a wood pile, that uh, wood chip pile. And we've also got a uh, thornless blackberry that's trying to grow up into here. We are working on getting edible mushrooms distributed as much as possible over our property. And uh, these guys are nice and easy to deal with. Um, so, I mean, hello, yeah, see. Gotta, gotta have a hundred dogs in the way whenever I try to do anything. Anyway, there's a nice little batch coming up there and there's a bunch of them there. And we've got some in the we got some on the stove right now that we already cooked and we're waiting to do uh, our breakfast with them. So, or uh, not breakfast, <laughs> dinner with them. So anyway, um, that's what our, that's where we're getting a lot of these from right now. And we got a bunch earlier from a couple of pairs, but I don't think any are there. I have put some caps back into location here, which you'll be able to see. <laughs> But these are my pears, and I don't see, like I said, I didn't put one around that one, <laughs> unless the dog's got a hold of it. All right, right here, I put a, I put one, Galloway dog, Galloway dog, the jealousest things in the whole wide world, I swear, I think they gotta be right in the middle of whatever I'm doing. <laughs> And I put another one up in here, but I don't remember where I buried it. So uh, anyway, he's up here, and uh, these guys were growing up. Several of the ones we picked earlier were coming up underneath the pear, so I figured we'll let them go back. Anyway, yeah, dog, that's a good look. <laughs> Dogs have no objection to licking their butt while you're filming them. <laughs> so anyway... If you like this sort of thing, I'd ask you to subscribe. Um, I'll be piecing this together with uh, with uh, some other the videos I shot earlier. And uh, like I said, if you enjoy this sort of thing, I'd ask you to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.